Hello everybody, it's Pretty Jimmy here, and in this video we will be making a guide about the Witch's Cauldron event and taking a look at two different events which are Dragon Ring and Deity's Test. With th on those two events I don't have enough info to make a guide on, however I can share some tips and tricks about those. However, for the guide it's gonna be pretty simple about the Witch's Cauldron event, so just follow these steps and you'll probably get SS rating most of the times. So, one thing to note is that if the cauldron blows up by any chance, you can just press leave and the reward won't be given to you or and you can just go in the witch's cauldron event again and get SS rating. However, the easiest way to get the SS rating is to just place in bats, dizzy bats in the fireplace. As you can see here, it's just gonna give me some more medicine score until I get to at least S rating. Yes, this way at, you will all at least get to S rating. However, if it does blow up on S, you can literally just leave the place and come back in until you get SS reward. I'm gonna speed this process up and we will talk about some more tips and tricks. Okay everyone, so we did get to S rank, and if I do place one more dizzy bat, the cauldron probably won't blow up. However, if it does blow up, we can just leave the event and repeat this process until we get SS rating. Yes, so, the cauldron did blow up, so I'm gonna speed this process up again until we get SS rating. We will just leave the place, are you sure you want to leave the dungeon and confirm. So let me speed this process up again and see where the event leads us. Okay everyone, so we did get to S again. Now let's see if we get the SS rating. Okay, I'm gonna collect the bats and place them in the fireplace again. Yes, we did get SS and as you can see the bar is not full yet, however, I have seen that it does not matter, you can literally just get to this, past this point, past this line and you're still gonna get the same reward as the max amount of bar points. So the reason why I'm not gonna even try to do this is because I will have a high chance of blowing this cauldron up and I'm not gonna get the rewards again and I will basically just need to do this event again. However, I will say again, you don't need to make this progress bar full, you can just go to this past, past this point and you will get the same rewards. Now for some tips and tricks, you will randomly get the witch's grandma quest. Now there are three quests, one is to use herbs, one is to use mushrooms and one is to use potions. The first one, the herbs, basically makes the bar score of your teammate be become lower, so literally if my teammate, aka my alternative account, used that quest, my rating would have gone below SS as probably, and you don't want that, right? So don't use quests unless it's the potion. Potion reduces the chances of your cauldron blowing up, and then mushrooms make the cauldron of your mate more unstable, increasing the chance for them to get only uh, only C rating. And yeah, it's just make gonna make the thing worse for your uh, alternative account or I would say friend, depending on who you go in this event with. So I think you guys did understand most of the things you want on the screen that you want to know. But yeah, and now to exit the event, we just have to press on this and finish hitting. Yes, and firing, and we will get the rewards after my alternative account gives up as well. Right now I'm gonna give up with my alternative account, finish hitting, yes and fill. okay. And as you can see, we did get 3 Blessing Candy and Mischief Pack. Let's see, yep, we did get some stuff, we did get a tier 4 Elemental Gem. And yeah, that is basically it about the event, I hope you guys like it. And now let's continue with the talk about Drangling and Diatis Test event. Okay, so here we are at the Drangling NPC. Now. I'm not a club leader at all, so I can basically explain what happens. After you, your club extraction device reaches energy to 100%, the club leader can take the device and place it in either Chizuru or Roll95. But a few things to note is that you can get only one reward per week, but any club can activate it. And if any club activates it, 
they can invite you to a location where that boss is gonna come. However, I will actually show you all uh, some gameplay of it so you guys can see what happens. It's basically a world boss, but yeah, everyone like from the whole server, if the whole server knows the location, everyone can come there and participate. And but the, keep in mind, the reward is only once per week, no matter how many clubs use it. Any player that has gone once is only gonna get the reward that one time. The boss can be either in Chizuru or in Road 95 or Highway 95 as we like to call it. And the, the dragon, yes, it's most of the time gonna be a dragon. After you defeat it, you're gonna get some rewards, but after that, someone from the club that has summoned the, summoned the boss will actually get hit by the chicken debuff, right? So, the basically, the probably the leader most of the time will become a, a duck and you will just have to kill him to get the rewards from an NPC that will give you so you get 70 stone hearts basically those are the things that you use to get the chests that drop the belt and the bracelet so that's gonna be it I think not really too much to talk about this event really it's basically that you just have to keep in mind and make friendly terms with all our clubs since if your club does not get the device and no one of in your club knows that that event is happening you will basically miss out on a huge reward okay so just keep that in mind Okay, and now let's talk about the Deities Test event that literally came out on this Thursday. So, if we go to join Deities Test, as you can see here, there are a couple of rewards you can get. First one is Basic Luck, the one is Divine One, basically a title that gives you 25 dexterity and 25 insight, then Mysterious Rune that increases a lot of things that you can do, then Basic Luck 2. And then Ally 5 support, basically giving you a new ally slot. Time King's Wow is next, and Mysterious Rune is last. However, I'm not sure if you guys have seen my live stream, my past live stream. I literally was not able to get past this level 5. And no, it's not my skill rotation, it's not, there's literally nothing I can do. The only thing you can do is someone from Discord did give me this tip, and it's literally quite okay but I'm pretty sure even if you're free to play and do have this draconic it won't give you a huge boost so the reason is because there are gonna be four enemies always four mobs like small mobs in that event and then there's gonna be one boss so you will basically have four chances to trigger blood rage right if you have risk factor unequipped so we can go and repeat the process every single time until you get blood rage and after you get blood rage that is basically the time you're gonna do the most damage to the boss. However, for me, for example, even with Blood Rage, I won't be able to even touch the boss since without Blood Rage, I almost get it to, down to 3 HPs. But even if, if, it, if I had Blood Rage, as I said again, I won't do much. As you can see here, let me just join in the event. And yeah, one thing to, one thing to note is that you can actually go to previous levels so you can test out your DPS as well. So let's start this event and see what happens now. It does not matter with what I'm going with, as you can see here are the 4 mobs, so if you have risk factor on as a draconic, kill those mobs. If you don't get a hard to drop, like a draconic blood drop, you, you can literally just um, repeat the process. However, as you all can see, that's basically 1.5 million damage coming from fire tornado, and as you can see, I don't do damage to him at all. So it's gonna be literally impossible for me to do this, do this in two and a half minutes and I will most of the time die since this boss does have huge AoE 
and some things are impossible to dodge as well so for free to plays until we get to a higher rating I think the max amount of that uh, the max amount of level we can do is level 4 I will quit this process right now because I don't just want to waste your time and talk too much about it but without any further ado I guess I think it's time to end the video right here at this point Thank you so much for watching, leave a sub if you did enjoy, leave a like of course for more people to see this guide and see you next time, bye bye. By the way, I'm streaming on Sunday 8pm GMT plus 2.